ladies welcome back to my channel for those of you who are coming back thank you and for those of you who are new welcome to my channel and today I'm going to share with you winter outfit ideas that I think are classy elegant and at the same time timeless Before I show you these styles, I want to let you know that these items are picked up from Mango and uh, most of these items you probably have it in your closet and if you don't, you feel free to um, buy them but the items that I pick up are actually timeless and I don't think it's going to go out of style and you're going to keep seeing it every year. But I um, also add a little bit of trendy on the outfit just to um, make the outfit more refreshed so it doesn't really look boring. So let's get started with the first item. And the items from Mango are actually not very expensive. I think the most expensive one is over $100, but the rest of the items are below $50. And currently they are on sale right now. So if you like the item, go grab it before um, it's gone. So let me talk to you about the coat first. Um, so the first one that I pick up is this burgundy coat, which is actually rich in color. It's very beautiful. I think it's an epitome of elegance and classy, and I think that most elegant women would wear. Um, the material for this one is recycled wool, which is a good um, material. It actually also has polyester, so probably the the material inside is polyester um, I'm not too sure about the metals in here it's okay I mean if you don't like it you can um, change it but other than that I think it's a beautiful um, coat and it actually hits right above my knee so it's a midi coat and the second coat that I have is this um, fur it's actually faux fur, so it's not real fur, um, waistcoat or trench waistcoat. So I do absolutely love the color of this coat. I think it's versatile. I think it's something that you'll see it all the time. Um, however, the color is a little bit more um, casual for me. Um, so perhaps you can probably just wear this casually, but it's um, short sleeves. And it also hits um, just below the knee, so it, this is actually longer than the burgundy coat. And this one, um, of course, it made of some polyester and faux fur. So with this kind of coat, um, I don't think it's going to last for a very long time. Um, if you want something that will last a very long time, you can buy a real one but the real one is very expensive but if you do take care of it um, really good I think it's gonna last for many years as well okay let's get on to their sweater so the first sweater that I pick up is this one um, unfortunately most of their sweater is actually made of more than 50% of polyester I mean the material is okay but it can get really itchy um, but for me it doesn't feel itchy but what I do like about this um, sweater is the size I think it's a little bit oversized which is very comfortable it's long enough and you can actually um, tuck it in if you want to um, I do love the sleeves I think it's um, unique it's a little bit of balloon sleeves on the edge of it and then I do like the patterns I think it's it's basic but it's comfortable it's um, casual it's something I could wear every day with my kids and I don't have to worry about like getting dirty just because it's not really um, expensive and I think this one is about $49.99 all right let's get into the um, next sweater which is this one um, I'm not sure what it's called but this one is a combination of wool and cashmere and to be exact, this is actually 90% wool and 10% cashmere. Um, it's a little bit on the trendy side, I believe, just because of this cut in the front. I do love that part. Um, but for the material, it doesn't. It feels rough. So 
I mean, I've felt other cashmere, which is very soft, but this one, it's rough. And um, I'm not sure how much this costs. I think this is probably about, about $50. Um, I don't think I want to keep this one just because the material is thin. I mean, it's okay for winter if you actually do um, layer inside but it is actually on the thin side, but it's wool, so um, it might help you when it's cold too. Um, the neckline is, um, I don't know, a little bit of turtleneck. It's a pretty um, sweater, but I don't like the feeling of it. I think it can get really itchy. Um, but other than that, um, I like the style on the front, and I like that it's long, so, um, this is something I could probably wear casually or a little bit more semi-formal or going to the church with a skirt. Right. So let's move on to our bottoms. Then the first one that I have is this um, pleated skirt. And this one is actually made of, I think, polyester. Yes, 100% polyester. Um, a pleated skirt is always um, there. I always see this every year. So this is something that you will actually see every year. This is actually long skirt. So um, it hits just on my ankle and it's a beautiful skirt. It actually flows very well. Um, the material is not so great, but it doesn't feel itchy and again this is something that is timeless so if you want something that will last you for a very long time then pick a material natural material natural fiber material but again if you will actually take good care of this item this skirt it will last you for many years all right let's move on to the jeans that I pick up um, and this one is actually skinny jeans and I actually bought a size 40, which is a bit tight on me. I wish I've sized up. And I do apologize if it looks tight on me when I show you how I style it. But this one is made of 100% cotton. Now that's what I like about Mango because a lot of their jeans are made of 100% cotton. And this is one of it. Um, the material is good. Um, I am not sure about the skinny jeans. I don't think it really fits me well, but I'm still gonna show it to you. And the price is also not very expensive. It's um, under $100. So again, jeans, this kind of jeans is always gonna be um, in the store. So it's something not going to go out of style. And this is actually mom jeans which doesn't really flatter my body type. I don't like it that it's like bulky on your midsize and it just go, goes like narrower on your lower legs. And for me, that's just not flattering on my body unless I actually um, wear um, over the knee boots or high boots or tall shoes. Um, so that will camouflage like the getting skinnier on the lower and then it won't emphasize too much on my midsection. All right, now we have the next jeans, which is a wide leg and it's high-waisted. Now this fits or it's more flattering on my body shape, especially I do really um, want to conceal a little bit of my midsection and then um, like the jeans making it wide at the bottom kind of helps elongate my legs. The only problem with this jeans is pretty long. So you might want to wear high heels on this one, but if you're not a type of person who likes to wear heels, then you can just get it tailored. And this one is also made of um, sustainable cotton and echo wash. Now I do like the fabric. Um, the other thing I like about this jeans is the a little bit of um, pleated. I don't know if that's how you call it. 
in the front of this jeans and I think this is something I am going to keep because I know I am going to wear this over and over again. So the next item is this um, sweater dress. Now it gets really heavy um, on someone who's very petite and it's very long and it doesn't really have a shape in the middle of this so you would probably just want to put like a belt just to emphasize your um, slimmest part of your body which is your upper waist and then this one is made of um, polyester so I mean the material the feeling of it is okay I think it's warm but I don't know it doesn't really flatter on my body but again you'll always see I'm sweater dressed every year so it's just probably how you would style it so I would show you how I would style this so it looks um, elegant and classy on on me and I would also show you how I would style it so that it would flatter my body shape or I would style it in a way that it would flatter my body shape all right let's move on to the next dress which is this one um, this one kind of looks more like a blazer um, just long blazer the material is actually polyester which I don't like and you can actually tell that the material is cheap because I could feel it um, it doesn't look expensive as well but if you have this kind of um, dress in your closet um, this is something that is going to be timeless and if you have like let's say an oversized blazer you could actually um, wear that in winter as well just probably layer it at the bottom um, or just put like a um, skirt that is longer than the blazer so that you can see a little bit of that skirt or um, a mid, not a mini, maybe a mini skirt and then um, you could wear it with like stockings um, but this is actually a dress I honestly don't like the buttons on this dress so again I'm pretty disappointed with this dress it really looks good on the website but it doesn't look um, expensive to me and it doesn't feel expensive but then again this is something that I think is timeless and something that I see every year let's move on to the next dress which is this one um, this is actually sustainable viscose and um, it is it is actually a mini dress um, but what I like about this um, dress is actually how it actually cinch your waist and then on this side I do love the um, I know pleats in the front and then um, I mean it's an okay dress it's actually it actually looks cheap sorry I apologize for saying that but this is something I don't think I'm gonna put in my closet um, I mean I've seen other dresses from mango they've done better with their dresses but this one the style is okay the style is actually pretty but the material is just doesn't look very expensive or it doesn't look expensive to me but the style on the sleeve is really pretty but I'm still gonna show you how I would style this dress in winter and again black dress is something you can um, wear in winter so whatever dress you whatever black dress you have in your closet you can absolutely wear them in winter it's just how you layer it depending on um, the location where you live if it's too cold then you probably need to layer it but if it's not too cold like here in Florida we probably just have like high 50s or um, high 60s so, so it's not too cold so it's, it's still bearable to wear this um, with just really thin stockings and some boots and some um, coat and I'm okay with that all right so perhaps the most timeless and one of the most elegant sweater is a turtleneck, a black turtleneck. And I'm sure you have that in your closet. 
um, but this one is made of 100% cashmere this one is actually about $79 but um, the material feels rough I've had different cashmere I felt it and then this one is a little bit different the ones that I have or I've had it before was a little bit softer but it can get really itchy inside as well so I mean the price tag is $79 all right I've also picked up this um, over the knee boots this is actually made of 100% leather it's genuine leather and it's made in Italy now I've never had um, shoes from Mango before so I don't know how long their shoes last I just don't like some of the leather um, after years it just peels off and I think that's just a waste of money but I do like the craftsmanship of it I think it's a pretty boots um, I do like the filling of the leather and I think it's a pretty leather oh this is actually made in Cambodia sorry um, and this is something you see every year so it, it's a very timeless piece and I'm gonna show you how I would style this piece. that's the end of this video and I hope you find it very helpful if you do like this video please give this video a thumbs up and if you like to see more of my videos you can subscribe to my channel and if you have an idea of a kind of video you want me to show you or make for you you can leave a comment down below and I wish you all good things and I hope to see you on my next video